I'm speechless. The game's not even over, and the Eagles have a 49-13 lead on the Oakland Raiders. Apparently, Nick Foles likes playing against Pirates, whether it's the Buccaneers or the Raiders. This guy is out of sight against Buccos, if you will. Foles tied an NFL record with seven touchdown passes and also passed for 406 yards. And all this in three quarters because he came out of the game so the Eagles wouldn't run the score up any further than the 49-13, which is where we stand right now. Of course, Matt Barkley is likely to stay out of the end zone and hand the ball off as time runs down. The Eagles' defense was all over the place, harassing Terrell Pryor from the start. They gave up one big play in the passing game early, settled down, got a couple turnovers, got some sacks on a very mobile quarterback. It was great for the Eagles on special teams as well. D Donnie Jones punting the ball deep. They really didn't need any field goals because the Eagles barely got into the red zone. They just threw the ball to Raleigh Cooper, Deshaun Jackson from way out there. LaShawn McCoy got in the act. Brent Selleck had a touchdown. Cooper did have three touchdowns. His best day as a pro, even better than the one he had back in Tampa Bay earlier in the year. So Nick Foles comes back from that horrible performance against the Dallas Cowboys a couple weeks back to have 406 yards and seven touchdown passes. Yes, seven touchdown passes for a 49-13 to 13 just annihilation of one of the top ten defenses in the NFL, the Oakland Raiders. Elsewhere in the NFC East, the Eagles failed to gain ground because the Dallas Cowboys squeaked one out against the Minnesota Vikings. They were down 23-20 to with a minute left in the game, but Romo found it within himself to lead the team down the field and score a touchdown, 27-23 to Cowboys. The Redskins almost gave up the game-winning touchdown to the Chargers on, in regulation, but by about an inch and a replay call to turn over a touchdown by the Chargers. The Redskins were able to go into overtime and take the ball all the way down the field, never giving Phillip Rivers a chance in the game. So the Redskins win 30-27 to in overtime versus the Chargers. It looked like the... NFC East fared pretty well against the AFC West. However, the Chiefs did win in Buffalo. They had a little bit of a scare earlier. So there you have it. The Philadelphia Eagles victorious with a 49-13 to lead over the Raiders as we speak. The Cowboys and Redskins helping the NFC least up its profile a little bit. But Perhaps the biggest shock of the day is what's going on right now in Seattle. The Seahawks are tied in overtime 24-24 to with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It was a great comeback by Russell Wilson and the Hawks because Tampa Bay led this game 21 to nothing at one point. That game has yet to be resolved. I'll update it in the text or title of this video. But the Seahawks who almost lost to the Rams last week, are leaking oil as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are taking it to them and giving them a scare in that really loud stadium, or so-called loud stadium, because after Green Bay next week, when the Eagles come back to town, we're going to take our home field advantage back. Eagles 49, Raiders 13.